Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone, Editor-in-Chief of the Woodworkers Journal Magazine. Today I'm going to use a CNC router to make a weather station, a nice little gift project. I'm using the CNC because it does some things great, such as cutting complex shape accurately and repeatably. And that's what we're going to use the CNC Shark for today. And then some of the other operations I'll do manually on some different machines, and I'll explain why as I do it. But first, let's get started with the CNC. With any CNC cutting operation, you should always run the whole program start to finish, testing your cut on a scrap piece of lumber. Here, I used a piece of plywood for the test cut. Also note that when you're cutting all the way through a piece of stock like this, you'll need to secure a sacrificial backer board to the deck of your CNC machine. When you are confident that your file is working properly, it's time to move on to your actual stock. In addition to the hold down clamps that are integrated into the CNC Shark's aluminum table, I add some small pieces of double sided carpet tape to help secure the blank while it is being machined. There is a good bit of force generated by the CNC as it cuts, especially so if your bit is getting a little dull. This small project is a great way to make use of leftover pieces of attractive lumber. In the several weather stations that I made, I used bird's eye maple and walnut stock that was just too good to throw away, but was too small for much else. While it would have been entirely possible to program the CNC to cut the holes for the weather instruments and even the decorative edge treatment, although the edge treatment would require a bit change, I chose to simply cut the blank to shape with the CNC, and here's why. Home shop CNC machines, while super accurate, are not particularly speedy. I found that in the time it took the CNC to cut out the blank, by setting up my drill press and my router table in advance, I could actually drill the holes and route the edge treatment, therefore making really efficient use of my time in the shop. So I put some stock in the CNC, got busy on the drill press, and then the router table, while the CNC was cutting away on the next blank. The CNC is perfect for cutting the complicated shape of the weather station and doing it flawlessly every time. In this case, I found it more practical to use the other tools for the jobs that they do best. And, as might be true of you as well, I like doing woodworking tasks like that. And here's our completed weather station. This one from Bird's Eye Maple. I made some from Walnut. It's great for using up scraps around the shop nice quality wood that you want to turn into gifts and that's what I'm going to do with this. We use the CNC to form the complex shapes. We used uh, the drill press and the router table for what they do best and we came up with a great little project. If you'd like to make it we have downloadable programming that you can put into your own CNC or if you want to make it old style we've given you a pattern and step-by-step -step instructions. It's a great project. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and keep on making sawdust.